hello friends welcome back to online math shop we are gonna be solving this problem right here so this is x power x power 2 is equal to 16 and so we're gonna be solving for the values of x that actually satisfy the equation okay but just before we proceed if you are new to our channel you want to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification icon so that whenever we release new content you actually get to know about it Okay, and of course, having done that, we're going to proceed right into the video. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start by writing solution. And then, I'm going to write this question. So, this is x power x, and then power 2 is equal to 16. Okay, so, what I'm going to do next is actually to put this in bracket okay so that what i now have is x power x and then bracket 2 is equal to uh, 16 okay so next you remember one of the properties of indices which basically say that if you have a power m and then power n you can actually write this as a power m n okay or you can also write this as a power you can actually switch these variables so you bring in the n and then you can also bring out m so this is the same as this and of course also the same as this so that is what i'm going to apply here so that if i do that uh, what i'm going to be having here is x power so I'm going to bring in this to s power 2 and then all raised to the power x. So I'm going to, I'm going to bring out that x right there. And of course, it's equal to 16. Okay. So next, I am actually going to raise both sides to power 2. So that if I do that, I will be having x power 2 and then all raised to the power x and then power 2 okay so that i have that this is still equal to 16 power 2 good so i am actually going to be making some substitutions so that I, this actually reduce and if i do that i can just say let x power 2 to be equal to m okay so that if i substitute I now have that this is m power m is equal to 16 and then of course I can also do some things right here this 16 I can actually write it as 4 power 2 okay so let me just put that in bracket and then power 2 right there okay so that I will have that this is m power m is equal to now I can also use this to to multiply these two right here so that if I do that I'm going to be having that this is equal to 4 power 2 times 2 is actually 4 okay so so we have m power m is equal to 4 power 4 and uh, if you now compare the coefficients this is actually going to imply that our m is equal to 4 okay but we actually set our m to be equal to x power 2 so in order for us to get the value of x we make the substitution back so x power 2 is equal to 4 okay so that you can go ahead to take the square root of both sides of course this is plus or minus so x is now equal to plus or minus the square root of 4 which when you evaluate that x is now equal to plus or minus 2 so whether x equal to positive 2 or negative 2 if you actually put it in the question we are solving and of course don't forget the question we just saw is x power x power 2 is equal to 16 so if you substitute 
x equal to positive 2 is actually going to satisfy this equation or if you also substitute x equal to negative 2 it will also satisfy this equation so this is how you actually go about it and if you've understood what we've solved make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more updates and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye